Now, can you see the golden man? He is the winner of the race. Many people say that, and he scored 300 plus. He scored in air triple. He took far more than Maru Sahib. And someone has scored 195 plus in CET. So, man, that is a very Maru Sahib. It's not like that. You know, those who are successful in life, jinko ki we we call extraordinary, they are very ordinary people with extraordinary commitment. I'll tell you a very simple, like, real life story that you can really relate. How many of you know Sachi Tendulkar? Sabhi ko pata rega. I remember, uh, mein usamai IIT mein tha, around 1997 ki baat hai, Shane Vaughan, the great spinner of Australia, hamesha Sachi ko out karta tha. So, in 1997, Sachi Tendulkar took it as a challenge. Then he invited all good spinners across India and he played on all different pitches. He used to play for 7 to 8 hours a day. Can you believe it? Cricket. Then he mastered the technique. And in 1997-98 when, uh, when the Indian team went for the Australian tour, then you know, the rest is history. Even uh, I remember when I used to learn to Shane Vaughan ke sapno mein Sachin Tendulkar aata tha. And there is no shortcut to success. I remember there is one uh, very close friend of uh, Sachin Tendulkar. I think you all must be knowing. His name is uh, Vinod Kamli. During those days when both of them started playing cricket, it was said that Vinod Kamli is much more talented than Sachin Tendulkar. But where is he today? Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So why Sachin is that, you know, we call God? Why? Why is it? Because he has extraordinary commitment. He knows what he wants to do and usko apne andar leka kya hai. So the same thing I expect from you all. If you want to be successful, if you want to score good at CT, AEEE, be committed in life. Or roj ka roj, jitna pad sakte ho, utna padho. Next slide. Competitive exams demands the best out of you. AIEEE is the exam that is conducted at a national level. So when you are preparing for such type of exams, which is at national level, so tumhare andar ka best bahar aata hai. And when you are preparing for that exam, tumhare dimaag mein rehta hai, you have to learn the best. Because you are competing with the best. So, why to prepare for such exams, competitive exams? Because it gives you a unique opportunity to learn which you normal course in the normal course. And test yourself and discover your true potential. Goal. This is not football goal. Goal of your life. This is the most important part. So, always keep yourself motivated and be relevant to the goals in your life. I'll give you a very simple example. Having not goal, like if you say that sir, man is coaching. In fact, you know there was a, a survey that was conducted, and uh, in the survey it was found that 95 uh, percent of the people, जिनसे ये पूछा गया कि what goal you have in life, they said that I haven't thought of it, and only five percent of them could come up and say कि this is my goal. Here I want to be in life, say five years, ten years down the line. So having goal in life is like boarding a plane which has a destination. So if you know your destination, you can prepare yourself well in advance. See, when you reach there, what exactly you want to do? And not having goal in life is like boarding a plane which has got no destination. It's like you know Marathi we get a But that attitude is not going to help. You need to prepare yourself in advance. So be aware of the relevance of goal in your life. Chalk it out a plan and then you can really win it. Now, I'm going to talk about AAAAA. Uh, I wrote my exam in the year 1996 and I remember when I was writing the exam, I had to appear for the exam of MLNR, that is Motilal Nehru Institute. Then I had to write the exam for Rudki, which is now IIT. Then again I had to write the exam for Trichinapalli. I don't know whether you know this or not, Trichinapalli, Trichy. 
So it was a you know a nightmare for me because I had to run here and there every time. In the year 2002, I wrote it in the year 1996. If I would have written it in my time, it would have been very good. But unfortunately, finally it came in the year 2000. 2001 was the year when the planning was you know prepared, and 2002 say the program was executed. The HRD ministry. Uh, it conducted a survey. So there were so many engineering colleges and all of the colleges, they were having their different exams. Like I had to write for all of these, you know, exams for all of these institutes. So they prepared a blueprint and they came up with an idea of three tier uh, exams. The first one is, of course, IITJ, and the second was AIEEE. So in AIEEE, like the best colleges, government aided colleges, they were pulled. So, Till today, there are around 20 NIT, that is uh, uh, National Institute of Technologies. The funding comes from the government. And there is a centralized admission process for that. So, abhi iska advantage kya hoga ki bachcho ko idho ke bhaagna ni padega. If you want a good national level engineering college, then you just have to write one exam, that is AIEEE. And apne ki sabse achhi baat kya hai, ki if you have scored well in AIEEE, then 15% quota hai yahaan ke jitne bhi engineering colleges hai except autonomous sir, right? Even one more second. So you have 15% seats reserved. So bohat saare baar aisa hota hai ki you fail to score good at CET but AIEEE mein you have scored reasonably well to jo aapko CET ke through seat nahi milti hai that you can get through AIEEE. So this is another big advantage of AIEEE. Now, the first exam at All India level it was started in the year 2002, the blueprint was ready by 2001. So they conducted this exam across India. And there are around roughly uh, 30,000 seats in AIEEE. Now the scheme of the exam, examination, uh, the exam is conducted in, in two sessions. Session one is a three hours paper, it includes basics of your maths, physics and chemistry. And it is based on CPSS syllabus of standard 11th and standard 12th. So the first three hour paper is of math, physics and chemistry. And AIEEE Kewal Engineering ke liye focus nahi karta hai. If you are interested in pharmacy, there are seats available there. If you are interested in architecture, then also IIT is the, sorry, this AIEEE is the best place. The second phase of the exam, which is conducted on the same day, this is also three hour paper. It includes mathematics, one paper aptitude, and the other one is for architecture. So, in the aptitude, what they want to see is how well you can think, literally. You know, how different can you think? Your visualization kya hai? And, and also there's a paper of drawing, how well you can draw. But all of these are for uh, architecture. So, ek bar ye sare exams aapne de diye. Then, uh, cumulative, you know, see, uh, every year there is some change in the marking scheme. But on an average, it is around 430 marks. And the paper may, there is a negative marking. There is a negative marking in the paper and the ratio that they have kept is 1 is to 4. Uh, that is, if one question is negative, hai, then one fourth of the marks will be deducted. So, this is the you know, biggest difference between CT and AIEEE, that here there is a negative marking in the paper. So, just be cautious. If you are not sure, then please don't attempt the question. Because if you attempt it, then it will be wrong, then definitely it will be negative mark. Mein and uh, the next one is number of attempts. Uh, you can take maximum three attempts for AIEEE. What I mean to say is, ki if you are graduate, graduating as in, if you are passing standard 12 uh, in say uh, 2010, uh, then you can write it 2010, 2011 and 2012. So maximum you can take three attempts from the year of passing standard 12. And the results of the AIEEE are declared on the first week of June. Now, after the results are declared, depending on your marks, whatever you have scored, there is a ranking. And like depending on your ranks, you are called for the counselling and there are three to four rounds of counselling. So, if you don't get the first round, if you don't get the seats or rather the branch of your choice, don't get this item. The reason I am saying it, if you talk to your children, usually they go to IITs. So, there is still space available, so go till 4th and 5th counselling. 
And at the end, if you get the branch of your choice, then nothing like it. So, in AEEE, there are around 20 existing NITs. 10 new NITs are added this year. So, jo 10 new NITs are added hue hai this year. Unka jo mentor hai or un 10 NITs ko jo guide kar raha hai, these are like 20 existing NITs. Now, there are 5 uh, Indian Institute of Information Technologies are also there, jahan pe kitumhe admission mil sakta hai through AEEE. They are uh, Indian Institute of Information Technologies. Then the next one is uh, Indian Institute of uh, uh, Information Technology and Management. The next is uh, Indian Institute of Information Technology Design and Manufacturing. So there are you know wide uh, branches jo ki available hai, including management that you can opt for. Or every year, good institutes are being added. There is one reason that I'll give you. Which is the most important that why you should aim for all of these NITs. The reason being the kind of infrastructure that you are going to get there. That you are not going to get at any normal engineering college. So aim for the best. Be best in your life. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself in advance. So that at the end of your career you are successful in life. So and always a text is there to help you out. So uh, with this, I'll, I'll uh, end my session. And uh, the last slide is uh, thank you. So thank you very much for being so patient and being so nice to me. If uh, you have any questions, you can address it. Thank you very much. Thank you.